Good evening, Evs. Fever is ramping up. We are 48 hours away from Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final. And Colorado is turning maroon and blue for our incredible hockey team. Ball Arena has certainly gotten Avs crazy. There's a brand new setup to get Avs fans pumped up for the championship. Everyone in Larimer Square getting into the spirit. All the flags have turned into Avs jerseys or sweaters, as the <laughs> hockey purists like to call them. The Avs are taking on the two-time defending cup champs, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Avs favored to win, but this sure won't be easy. We know that. Game one is at home this Wednesday. Game two also at home on Saturday, three and four next week on the road in Tampa. The city, of course, wants to accommodate as many Avs fans as possible during this very exciting time. And that is why they're letting a few restaurants and bars to expand their footprints. Connor McHugh joining us live downtown. And Connor, the Stanley Cup is amazing news for the Avs as well as our businesses here. Yeah, Kelly, with ticket prices as high as they are in Ball Arena, Stanley Cup watch parties might be the next best option for passionate Avs fans. And there will be many across the city, including a massive one right here at Tivoli Plaza on the Auraria campus. This one will have entertainment, beverages, everything you could imagine, and wouldn't be possible without a little flexibility from the city and county of Denver. From new tents to outdoor stages, preparations are well underway at Tivoli Brewing in Denver. And with the Stanley Cup final just two days out, there's still much more to do. It'll look completely different than it looks today. For each game, all of Tivoli Plaza will be home to the Avalanche's official Stanley Cup watch party. It's a gathering not possible without some help from the city and county of Denver. There's no way that we would have been able to pull this off. Until now, expansion of liquor licensed areas required a 30 day wait period. But for the remainder of the Avs run, the city is waiving the rule. When unexpected events arise, we want to be able to be flexible and work with our businesses. Molly Duplachain says so far only three businesses have applied. Tivoli, Ball Arena, and McGregor Square. We know bars and restaurants were heavily impacted by the pandemic and having um, to close during COVID. So this is an additional way that we can be flexible and provide them new opportunities. At Tivoli, they're expecting 10 to 20,000 people per game, a gathering unlike any they've ever hosted. There's a stage, there's food trucks, there's a bunch of alcohol partners. Pairing Avs Fever with homegrown hospitality, a combo only made better with a Stanley Cup win. Obviously going through COVID and the challenges that we had during that time, it is what it is, but now moving forward, I'd love to see events like this happening all the time. The city is still accepting permit modifications online. Those applications are there and we'll post a link on our website. As for this watch party, the gates open on Wednesday at 4 p.m. and admission is free. Live in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, such an exciting time. Thank you. And I see he found some shade. I see that. Smart That's important. Yes. Yeah. And save me a seat, Connor. <laughs>